can I can give you an example. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, sometimes I use a technique from CBT, which is to track your negative thoughts. Uh, uh, pay attention to your negative thoughts and uh, write them down. Okay, so that's totally contradictory to solution-focused model at a glance. Okay? Yeah, it, it seems like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but this, this comes from the person telling them that they are, they are stuck with their negative emotions and they have no control over them and they cannot tell me when it doesn't happen. Uh, and and uh, um, there's also no, no really clear uh, what would be happening instead. But it, it, it keeps coming back and it's a problem for them. Then I, then I view this as a pattern problem. This is a habit. This is something that is stuck. So the person is trying to get rid of the negative thoughts. If you observe your negative thoughts and make notes of them, that interrupts the pattern. So I use this technique as, from a systemic point of view, as a pattern interruption. Because instead of negative thoughts being inside the head, if you observe them and write them down on paper, you have uh, inserted an extra loop in it. And the effect is usually that people come back and say, it's better. They're not as sticky, these, these thoughts. I'm able to, to, to uh, put them aside or to... to um, so then I can ask them, how do you do that? And what's important at this point? And then they are free to move. And now we explore that kind of movements. Where do you want to go from, from here? And what do you want to do? So, so, so well, that's the, the CBT technique we could, could be like, oh, now I identify the negative emo, uh, thoughts. Now let's consider some anti-thoughts, some positive thoughts, and, and, uh, and to replace. That's the CBT application. Mm -hmm. I just use it to unstuck people. Mm -hmm. And then they can fill it up with whatever. They don't have... Yeah, yeah. If they, uh, and actually, the other thoughts will uh, not have a relation to the, the, the thoughts that they have registered. It no, no the, the, have so the problem was not the negative thoughts. The problem was the stuckness. Mm -hmm. So that's the, my general idea of what a problem is. The problem is being stuck and not free to move. So, so, and you don't know what to do about it. Which means that, that, that the, the, the goal of therapy is to make people, help people be free to move mm -hmm. again. And when they're free to move, uh, um, so do you think this that's is, it basically? Yeah. So do you think this is a, a kind of technique that can be used when looking at other models uh, and specifically the other therapeutic techniques to see uh, that there are some parts of this technique that would work or would fit or could be helpful, and but maybe they are too overworked or too overstructured, uh, so the technique may not fit so well with the. With, with a large group of clients, but if you take one part of it, you can sort of adapt yeah, I think it. That, that, uh, uh, when I use a technique like that, it's usually uh, an experiment. Mm -hmm. and I invite the person to do an experiment. We could try something. Mm -hmm. And it's also done from the framework that is, uh, that is very solid for me, which is that, that the problem means, means I don't know how to go on. I am stuck. Which means that solutions means I know how to go on. So this is from Wittgenstein. Um, so, so it means that the therapy is, is the transition from I don't know how to go on to I know how to go on. So, so everything I do is, is, is brought in from that context. So, so I don't bring in the technique. Um, it, 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 there is some technique. It's sort of an idea that, well, that, that, that might be useful here uh, within this context. This might help people get unstuck people. This is a pattern interruption. Um, so I view it from this systemic point of view. So I think...